So we're done graphing hyperbolas, but in this topic, we're looking at how to find the foci of a hyperbola given this equation in general form. So uh, we need to rewrite this in standard form. So we need to see some fractions, subtraction sign in the middle and one on the other side. So let's start by organizing this so that all the x's come to the front. So I got negative 4x squared and positive 40x. Um, and I see there's y squared. And let me move this 104, negative 104 to the other hand side. So positive 104 right there. Um, y squared is all ready to go. There's nothing else to do about that one. But the red one needs some work. So let's factor out the negative 4 first. Then you'll get x squared minus 10x. And everything else will stay the same for right now. But let us now complete the square inside the parenthesis. What should we be adding to that x squared minus 10x? It is always going to be half of that middle number squared. So half of negative 10 is negative 5. And when you square negative 5, you get positive 25. So I just added positive 25 inside the parenthesis. So what does that mean to the le entire left-hand side of this equation? Well, look, that 25 is inside the parenthesis. So when I distribute this negative 4, uh, we notice that we're actually adding negative 100 to the left-hand side. So that means we need to add negative 100 to the right-hand side. So after that, we're ready to factor this, okay? Um, keep that negative 4 in the front, but we're factoring that trinomial as x minus 5 squared plus y squared. That equals 104 minus 100 gives us 4. Um, we will divide everything by 4 now because we need to have 1 on the right hand side. So divide everything by 4. If you look at the first fraction, these two will cancel out and just give us what? Negative 1, right? So I'm going to write this as x minus 5 squared over 1. I know we don't have to, but I want to put a number in the denominator so that we can use it to find c later, okay? Now, what about the second one? I'm going to get y squared over 4. All equals positive 1. Now, I think I forgot something. Did you notice that too? When we do negative 4 divided by negative 4, that should be negative 1. Uh-oh, got my negative 1 right there, negative in front. Um, for hyperbolas, we do want to write it as a fraction minus another fraction. So look, I am going to switch the order of the blue and the red fraction. Write the blue fraction first because that's the positive one. y squared minus 4. And write the red fraction, which will be minus x minus 5 squared over 1. So I switch the order so that it looks like the standard form of hyperbola. Because the y fraction comes first, or this is positive, okay, uh, we're looking at a vertical hyperbola. It's going to go open up or down, okay? Um, so what I'm not going to do is because we got our equation in standard form, let me give you the formula to use um, that we can find the both side, okay? So I'm going to zoom out and go up here. There are two things that I want to gather, okay? So the both side formula for the y, this one right there. I'll put that down here. But when you're finding the both side, you will notice that we need to find what c is. So another formula that I will grab is this one, okay? Now we're ready to talk, okay? Uh, when you are finding foci, you need to start by writing the center first, okay? So what's the center? Let's see what are some numbers that are being subtracted from x's and y's. What is a number being subtracted from x? 5. So when you see x minus 5, you're going to say the x coordinate of the center will be positive 5. Is there any number being subtracted from y? No, I don't see anything being subtracted. So what's the y-coordinate of the center? Zero. Okay, 
So we got the center. Now to find foci, all you have to do is add a number um, to. Sometimes you add it to the y coordinate. Sometimes you add it to the x coordinate. Now we're going to be adding it to the y coordinate because we got a vertical hyperbola. Okay. Um, when the 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 hyperbola fraction. When y is y fraction is positive, you will be adding the c value to the y coordinate of the center. So, look, when you find the foci, the final answers, both of them will have the same x coordinate as the center. They will all be five and five. They're not gonna change because they will all be on the same vertical line. But now we gotta find all their y coordinate, and to find y coordinate, all we have to do is add the c value or c value to the y coordinate of the center. So here's how you find c. Okay, if you want to find c, take square root of a squared plus b squared. A squared and b squared are just the denominators of these hyperbola fractions. So what are our a's, a squares, and b squares uh, in our standard form? A squared is 4, b squared is 1. So c is going to be square root of 4 plus 1, which is square root of 5. This is a number you have to add to the y-coordinate of the vertex or the center. So if you do 0 plus square root of 5, you will get square root of 5 for the first y-coordinate of the foci. Now, if you want to find the other one, do 0 minus square root of 5, which is going to be negative square root of 5. So that is how you can find the foci of a hyperbola. Um, this one was a little bit longer just because they got us the general form of the hyperbola instead of the standard form. So we had to do some work to get it down to the standard form. But once you find it, um, and you know, the, the for all the formula that you will need for this section, I got them um, copied in the course pack. So make sure to use them correctly because there are two formulas right there, right? Um, but that is it for this topic on uh, finding foci of a hyperbola.